So on this video I'll be giving a rundown on the Van Gogh Mountain F10 and why it's my dream tent. So what does the tent come with? It comes with a separate inner, a separate fly sheet, free set of poles and a bag of pigs. So the next step to setting up the tent is to attach the colour coded poles to their corresponding straps. So green poles to the green straps and then the silver poles to the silver strap. Or is it grey? Hmm. And as you can see, it then creates this freestanding design. Next step is to add the silver poles to the tent and their corresponding straps. After speaking to Van Gogh themselves, they advise that the Yunnan ultralight aluminium poles are an upgrade on the Van Gogh Mirage aluminium poles. And that's because they have a thicker diameter and the introduction of a swaging process which gives it additional strength and this here is the axial hub system which also gives the tent additional strength ideal for those high winds next step is to attach the strong plastic clips to the corresponding pole so green strap to green pole silver or grey strap to the silver pole You also have these carabiners where the poles cross over and you attach them like that so the poles join together supporting each other making the tent even stronger and the last step for the inner is pegging it down Now, unlike the nature hike tents, where the inner is made of purely mesh, this is a double skinned inner, ideal for trapping heat in those colder months. And as you can see, it has a relatively high bathtub at 10 centimetres. It is 60 denier with a hydrostatic head of either 5,000 or 6,000 millimetres. I don't know the exact amount due to the information that I'm finding online. It appears to be quite conflicting, but most sites tend to say 6,000 millimetres so this is a very strong, durable and waterproof bathtub Once the inner is fully erected it creates this classic geodesic design Now you know it's geodesic when it has 5 crossover points so 1, 2, 3 in the middle, 4 and 5 at the other end and a semi-geodesic tent would have 3 or 4 crossover points like the Van Gogh Mirage and a standard dome tent would have 1 or 2 crossover points and the next step is to attach the fly sheet peg it down buckle it up and this is the tent's end result now the fly sheet, it is a 30 denier ripstop nylon with a hydrostatic head of 3000 millimetres so that would more than do the job in sustained heavy rainfall it's a lovely looking tent and that's not my smartest move don't pitch your tent over a tree the tent comes with eight guy out points one at each door and three on the side however the middle one on each side is missing a guy rope so i'll need to bring my own Let's check out the inside. So the tent comes with two symmetrical vestibules with O-shaped doors. O-shaped doors being the easiest to open. Now the tent comes with an abundance of pockets. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Zip ventilation. And a lantern hanging point. So 
this is what it's like on the inside, especially when I've got my little sleeping system set up. It gives you an idea just how roomy it is. You've got great width and length and ideal height for a tall person like myself who is six foot three. Now drink, now you have to drink because an absolute legend to our little community created his own little drinking game where you take a drink to every time I mention my height. Apparently I mention it a lot, but yeah, can't really, I just can't wait to test this tent out in adverse weather. And the last thing I wanted to show was the Expedition Doors, which gives you a variety of options. Um, and I'm going to show you in the next following clips and the advantages that they have. So the first option that you have is that you can open the doors from the top. Now, the benefit of this is it creates additional ventilation for the tent. You can have a little peek out when it's raining or when there's been overnight snowfall, you can climb out via the top. Next option is creating this little side panel. This is ideal when you want to cook and there's driving rain and strong winds. So this counters the prevailing winds and rain. Or for easy access, you can have the doors just like that. So that's the tent fully set up. Now it takes about 15 minutes and the entirety of the tent weighs in at 3.2 kilograms. Now I go into detail as to why this is my dream tent. I'm going to weigh up the pros and its cons. One of the reasons why that's my dream tent is because of the brand. Now, Vango have always been reliable for me. I've been out in the Vango Nevis, the Vango Banshee, the Vango Scafell, and most importantly, the Vango Mirage. And not once has any of them ever let me down. And another advantage to Vango is they are one of the more affordable brands. So they appeal to a wider audience. Now, another reason would be space. For a tall person like myself who's six foot three, drink, there's just an abundance of space in that tent. And I'm one of those people who would sacrifice weight for comfort. And it's just a great tent for not just one person, but for two people as well. It's a properly spacious two man tent. So if someone's daft enough to fall in love with me and then come camping, jackpot hat. Then we have its fully geodesic design, which for someone who enjoys camping out in extreme weather, ideal for those conditions as it adds additional structural integrity to the tent. I love the colour of this tent. As you can see, it blends in with the environment perfectly. Then you have the two vestibules which come in handy. You can either use one for storage and one for cooking or have your own vestibule each if there are two of you. The double layered inner is ideal for trapping heat and again ideal for those colder nights. The Expedition doors I just absolutely love. And finally, the price. I read an article online which stated that this tent performed in 90 miles per hour winds with relative ease. Given that Hillebergs tend to cost over £1,000, taking into account all the features that this tent possesses and its capabilities in adverse weather for under £400, which I got it for, you can't really complain, but it is by no means the perfect tent. Now at 3.2 kilograms, this is still considered as a heavy tent. So if you're into your lightweight camping, this isn't the tent for you. Another downside is that the fly sheet doesn't go all the way down to the ground. So what could happen is ice pellets, hail, snow can bounce down and then hit the inner of the tent. It's also a very bulky tent. Now I didn't bring the compression sack or its stuff sack that it came with. What I did was I put it in my own little dry sack. But in comparison to a lot of other tents, this is a very bulky tent. Another minor downside is when it's raining, the rain droplets will hit off the inner as the inner is further out than the top of the tent. Now this will help a little. But as you can see, there's still plenty of surface area for the rain to hit. The worst con, in my opinion, is the amount of time it takes to set this up. Also, setting this tent up in adverse weather is not a one-person job, but a two-person job. So it can be quite impractical. So that's my overview of the Vango Mountain F10 Complete. If you enjoyed the content, guys, I would hugely appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, dropped a comment, and also hit the like button. So take care and I'll see you all on the next video.